Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. This will be a quick one, but a very important one because I see this mistake being made by people so frequently. Because as you maybe know, I have a mentorship program where I regularly review people's code. Application link is in this video's description. And that just gives me a very good feeling of what people struggle with. And this mistake is related to the backstack on Android. So you can see I prepared a little two screen app here. First screen really just contains a single button uh, that navigates us to screen B. When we click that, and we also get to screen B, where we just see an empty toolbar. Could really be anything here, but the thing that really matters here is that we have some sort of action to go back from the second screen to the first screen. So we click this, we get back. So far, so good. That's working. And if we take a look at the code, how that works, we have a nav host, which we obviously need if we have some sort of navigation in our app with a nav controller that lets us jump between screens. We then register our screens here. So we have a screen A route and we have a screen B route, which we also register here. When we click on our button to navigate to screen B, we just navigate there. And when we then go back, so we when we click here on this little back arrow, then we just pop the back stack. So we just say, okay, that screen that is currently on top of the back stack should be popped and we get to the screen we were on previously. So what's the issue here? What's the mistake? What could possibly go wrong here? And in fact, in the example I showed you, everything was working perfectly fine. But there is in fact a scenario where everything won't be fine. Let's take a look how we can get there. We are on screen B and let's see what happens now. I went back and our button disappeared. What did I do differently? So what I did here is I actually tapped the back button twice very quickly. So let's do that again. We double tap that and then we will see nothing in our app. And the reason why our app behaves like that is because we're using pop backstack. Because what pop backstack will really do here is it will just try to pop the screen we're currently on, no matter where we currently are on our backstack. And if we are here on our second screen and we just tap the back button, that works perfectly fine. But when we actually double tap it, which can of course accidentally happen to users, then pop backstack will also be fired twice and therefore it will also pop two of our screens. So to summarize, pop backstack is not aware of our current backstack. It doesn't care about that. It really will just try to pop the topmost screen on our backstack. And even if that's the last screen on our backstack, it will still pop it. And in that case, this whole nav host will be popped and will not be in our compose hierarchy anymore. And from this point on, there is no way to recover that other than restarting the app. So that's why in most scenarios, I really wouldn't use pop backstack, at least not in those where popping the backstack originates from a user action. So when they actually tap something on the screen, which they could accidentally do twice. And this is of course much more likely to happen if you have some kind of navigation transition, which there is by default. So there is maybe a 500 milliseconds window where you can tap the button twice. But the fix is actually easier than you might think. Instead of pop backstack, there's a function that does something very similar, and that's called navigate up. So it really does the same, it's just aware of the backstack and will only pop the screen we're currently at. So if we relaunch this, take a look in our device, we then go to screen B, and we now tap our back button a lot of times, and then you can see we will still land on our screen A without getting that weird bug from before. If you have a specific use case where you actually want that behavior from pop backstack, then of course feel free to use it. But in my experience, in most scenarios, you rather want to use Navigate App. So I hope this opened your eyes. If so, then definitely apply to my mentorship program below because you don't know how many other such mistakes you might have in your code. And in this 10-week program, we will work on your code and your technical skills really carefully, really closely. So after that time, you will go out of this with a lot of technical confidence, which will also highly benefit you when applying for another job for example. Thanks for watching. I will see you back in the next video. Have an amazing rest of your week. Bye-bye.